Today you're going to learn how to make this animation to calculate the distance between two objects and how to show it on the screen. So let me delete everything, go to Geometry Node, let's close this, this panel, so we have full screen. Let's create a new profile and let's create a secondary object, for example, a UV sphere. So I want to calculate the distance between these two objects. We are going to work with this one and we need the position of both objects. So let's bring this object here. We can drag it from here and we can drag this object here too. So we have the position location of this object and the position of this object. So we need something to calculate the distance. And for this, we have Shift A, Vector Math, and we select Distance. So we can take the position of the sphere and the position of the cube. And now this node is calculating the distance. We have the distance in this output, like a value. So we can do something with that. For example, show it as a text. So let's convert this value to a string. The number string is a text. And now we need to convert this text, this string, to curve. So string to curve. And let's show it to the output. So let me bring this here and bring a join geometry so we can see at the same time the cube and let's connect it here now we cannot see it because it's behind this if i disconnect this look it's here so we are going to move this let's bring set position so we can move this text for example in this axis and let's add a field perfect let me center it and let's make it bigger something like that so now this number is the distance between these two objects for example if i move this let me put this view you will see it's changing when it gets closer it will be zero when both positions match and when it goes further the number increase if you want to represent the line between these two objects what we can do we are going to bring a curve line and this curve line has the start and the end. So we can use one point of this object, another point of the other object. So the line will be connected to the both objects. And now we can connect this to the joint geometry. So we have the line that is here. But let's bring some mesh. So curve to mesh. And let's add a profile like a curve circle. Let's make it smaller, something like that. So here this is just to connect two objects, objects position, and this to get the distance and convert it to text. So now if we move this, you can see, okay, here we have a little problem. That's why, because we didn't click here, we need to select relative and relative. And now if we move it, the line is connected to both objects and we have always the distance. By the way, if you want to move this, what we can do is, for example, remember you can move it with that. And actually, if you want to paste it in the other position, for example, this one, what you can do is to copy the node of the sphere and use its position in the offset. So now the number is there. And what you can do, if you want to move it, let me hide the lines, is to add here a vector math. So we can push this number, for example, like that, or like this, or below, whatever you want. And now always the number will be there. By the way, let's add a letter here, for example, meters. How we do that? We need to add here another string. So let's bring join a string, this connected here, and here we can add another string. So let's add a simple string, for example, m of meters. So now we are joining the value and the m of meters. If you want to give some space, just click here, spacebar, and enter. And now we created this animation.
If you want to get the decimals, here you can click and it will show the number of decimals that you are selecting. So now it's more precise. And here you can see the full setup. If you enjoyed this video, give a like, subscribe, and you can donate this project and many more in my Patreon. So, see you next video.